most of the visible matter in the universe consists of plasma. This mysterious thing that causes objects in space to emit light is all around us. However, we still don't know anything about it. We can see it in the form of comet trails and as every star in the universe, including our sun, which radiates solar plasma, giving Earth the light that makes life possible. Solar plasma is being released into space too. Part of it is called solar wind, which causes the aurora phenomenon on Earth. Besides many natural plasma phenomena in space, there are many plasma phenomena on Earth too, such as lightning and thunder, or flames. In fact, plasmas are a core part of our everyday life. Fluorescent lamps, energy-saving light bulbs and neon lights are just a few examples of our everyday usage of plasmas. Another example of plasma usage is found in the car industry, where many parts are produced using plasmas to deposit high-performance coatings. Also, small things like our plastic shopping bags are being treated with plasma. It is used to adhere the colourful advertisements onto the surface. Many kinds of plasma are used in different industries. It is very popular in medicine, where it acts as a coating for implants and as a method to sterilise surgical tools. Plasma treatments help patients with open wounds that otherwise hadn't healed and wouldn't close for many years. Modern microelectronics that shape our world today can only be produced using elaborate plasma processes, thus making possible smartphones, for example, or plasma TVs. But what exactly is it that is going on in a plasma TV? In the first state of matter, we see the solid state. Here, atoms and molecules are closely packed. If we heat up a solid, it will eventually melt, changing into the liquid state. Now atoms and molecules are mobile, so the liquid phase can assume any shape, like this vase. Further heating evaporates the liquid, changing it into a gas. In the gas state, atoms and molecules can move around freely. From here, additional heating leads to electrons becoming detached from the atoms and molecules, thereby residue of this atom or molecule becomes an ion, where the newly detached electrons move around separately. Due to the high energy within, a typical feature of plasma is that it is glowing, the emission of light. In the next video we will take a look into what more can be done with plasmas and how exactly these things work.